everyone and welcome back to Cute Crochet. My name is Sri and in today's video I am going to show you how to make this little baby ghost amigurumi. It's super easy to make and perfect for beginners and it makes the most adorable keychains. This is a great gift for your friends and family this Halloween. To make this you will need some white yarn, little bit of black yarn for the embroidery, black beads or safety eyes, some pink chalk pastel or eyeshadow and a blank keyring. So let's get started. White is very hard to see on camera so I'm going to use this steel yarn to demonstrate. This is a 4 ply yarn and with it I'm going to use a 3mm crochet which is a couple of sizes smaller than what is recommended for this yarn. It's actually recommended to use a 4mm hook with this. We do this so that our stitches are nice and tight and none of the stuffing shows through. We are going to start by making a magic circle. To do that wrap your yarn up and over your finger like so forming a cross in the front. Then insert your hook underneath the cross, take the yarn from the other side and pull through. Then again yarn over and pull through the loop on your hook. Now remove this loop from your finger and this is the magic circle that we are going to work into. Start by making a chain 1. This chain 1 does not count as a stitch. Then we are going to make 6 single crochets into the magic circle. To make a single crochet, insert your hook into the magic circle and pull up a loop. You will have two loops on your hook like this, yarn over and pull through the two loops and that finishes one single crochet. Let's do it again, insert your hook into the magic circle and pull up a loop. Two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two. Now we are going to make four more single crochets like this for a total of six single crochets. After you finished making 6 single crochets, you can pull on this steel to cinch the magic circle completely closed and this brings us to the end of round 1. At the end of round 1, we have 6 single crochets. This amigurumi is going to be worked in continuous rounds, so we need to mark the last stitch of the round. For that, I am using a paper clip here, but you can use anything. You can use a yarn in a different color or you can also get proper stitch markers. Round 2 is an increase round. For this round, we are going to increase in each stitch all the way around. An increase is simply placing two single crochets into one stitch. So, go into that first single crochet and make one single crochet. Then make one more single crochet into that same stitch and that is our increase stitch. Again, into the next stitch place two single crochets. Now into the remaining 4 stitches of the round, make increases that is 2 single crochets into the same stitch. When you reach the last stitch of the round, remove the stitch marker and place two single crochets into that stitch as well. This brings us to the end of round 2. At the end of round 2, you will have 12 single crochets. Go ahead and mark the new last stitch of the round. For round 3, we are going to increase into every alternate stitch. So, into that first stitch, make a single crochet. Then, into the next stitch, two single crochets. Then, into the next stitch, one single crochet, then increase.
continue repeating like this single crochet increase single crochet increase single crochet increase all the way around Once you reach the last stitch, remove the stitch marker and place two single crochets into it. For this and every other increase round, you should be increasing into the last stitch. And if you are not, you must have done something wrong in your counting and you will have to recheck your work. Go ahead and mark the new last stitch of the round. At the end of round 3, you will have 18 single crochets. For round 4, we are going to simply place one single crochet into each stitch of the previous round, keeping the stitch count constant at 18. Now we are at the end of round 4, go ahead and replace the stitch marker. For round 5, place 1 single crochet into the first 5 stitches. Then into the next stitch, increase. Again, one single crochet into the next 5 stitches. Into the next stitch, increase. Now repeat the sequence one more time. One single crochet into the next 5 stitches and then increase. Like every other increase round, you should be increasing in the last stitch. At the end of round 5, you will have 21 single crochets. For round 6, place 1 single crochet into each stitch all the way around, keeping the stitch count constant at 21. For round 7, place 1 single crochet into the first 6 stitches. Then into the next stitch, increase. We are going to repeat this sequence two more times. 
one single crochet into the next six stitches and then increase again one single crochet into the next six stitches and into the last stitch increase Like every other increase round, you should be placing an increase into the last stitch. At the end of round 7, you will have 24 single crochets. Round 7 was our last increase round. For rounds 8, 9 and 10, I am going to place one single crochet into each stitch all the way around. I'm going to finish making this three rounds and meet back up with you. Here I finished making up to round 10. Now I will make the face before moving on. Start counting the rounds from the top of the piece. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We'll make the smile on top of round 6. So come in from the back in between rounds 5 and 6. I'm using a yarn needle here and I've separated one ply from my four ply black yarn. Skip the next two stitches and make a straight across stitch along the same row. Then come out in between round 6 and 7 in the middle of the straight across stitch. Then go under the straight across stitch and then back down the same hole. This will create the shape of a smile. Tie a knot using the two tails on the inside of the amigurumi to secure the embroidery. Next, I am going to place the eyes on either side of the smile one stitch away. For any method, the placement will be the same. Here I am using some flat back pearls and I am sticking them on using some fabric glue. However, I do not recommend doing this if you are making this for a child. These stuck on eyes can come off and become choking hazards. In that case, it's better to use embroidery or safety eyes. After making the face, I am going to continue with the pattern. For round 11, we are going to work in the front loop only. If you look at the stitches carefully, each stitch has a front loop and a back loop. We are going to only work into the front loop and not go into the back loop. Go under the front loop of the first stitch and make a slip stitch. Now we are going to go ahead and mark the back loop of this first stitch because it can get a bit tricky to identify at the end of the round. Then we are going to go under the front loop of the next stitch and make a single crochet. Then into that same stitch we are going to make a half double crochet. For that yarn over, go into the stitch and pull up a loop. You will have 3 loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all 3 loops and that's a half double crochet. Then make one more single crochet into that same stitch. Then slip stitch into the front loop of the next stitch. This is the end of our repeat pattern. We are going to repeat this 8 times, slip stitch into the front loop of the next stitch. 
into the front loop of the next stitch we are going to make a single crochet half double crochet and single crochet then slip stitch into the next stitch continue repeating this pattern all the way around here i'm at the last repeat slip stitch then single crochet half double crochet single crochet in the same stitch Then one last slip stitch into the last stitch. If you want, you can also go ahead and mark the back loop of the last stitch. For round 12, we are going to work into the back loops of round 10. Remove your stitch marker. We are going to start working from that stitch. Make one single crochet into the first back loop. Go ahead and mark the stitch before it. Then one single crochet in the second back loop. Then over the next two back loops, I am going to make a decrease stitch. To make a decrease stitch, go under that first back loop and pull up a loop like you normally would for a single crochet. After doing that, do not complete the stitch. Go under the next back loop and pull up a loop. With 3 loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all 3 loops. And that's our decrease stitch. Again, make 1 single crochet into the next 2 back loops. Then over the next two back loops, decrease. Continue repeating this pattern of one single crochet into the next two stitches and then decrease all the way around. Here I am making a decrease stitch in the last two back loops. Now go ahead and mark the last stitch of the round. At the end of round 12 you will have 18 stitches. Don't forget where the first stitch of this round was. Use two separate stitch markers if you need to. For round 13, make one single crochet into that first stitch. Then into the next two stitches, we are going to make a decrease stitch. Only this time, we are going to go under both loops, not just the back loop. Again, single crochet into the next stitch. Decrease into the next two stitches. Continue repeating this sequence of one single crochet, then decrease all the way around. Here I am decreasing in the last two stitches. At the end of round 13, you will have 12 stitches. Go ahead and mark the last stitch of the round. At this point, we are going to stuff the piece. Don't add too much stuffing. If the bottom of the army cream is bulging, it won't be able to stand up on its own.
for around 14 we are going to decrease into every stitch around i like to keep one finger on top of the stuffing to keep it out of the way while doing this At the end of round 14, you will have 6 stitches. Cut the excess yarn leaving a long enough tail for sewing and then fasten off. Then to close up the hole, I am going to weave this tail in and out through the front loops of all of the stitches of this round. Then when you pull on this tail, it should close up the hole nicely. With the help of a yarn needle, bring that tail through the center of the hole and then out through the back of the amigurumi. Leave that tail hanging there for now. This is my real white ghost. To add a keychain, take another length of white yarn. Then come in through the same hole as the previous yarn tail and out through the top of the amigurumi. Don't pull the yarn all the way through. Then sew through the jump ring of the keychain. Go back down through the same hole on the top of the head and out through the same hole as the other two yarn tails. Then tie a knot using all of the three tails. Then you can cut off the excess yarn and hide the knot into the body by pushing it in using the back of your yarn needle. I felt my ghost was looking too white, so I added some blush to the cheek using some pink chalk pastel. You can also use eyeshadow or blush for this. Remember that this will come off in the wash and you will have to reapply it. And that's it. I hope you guys like this video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.